Hey, thanks for joining me for another episode. We're talking today about how to feel alive. And I mean like alive. I mean like full of life, full of energy, enthusiasm, and just loving what you're doing. How is it we can do some amazing and sometimes unexplainable things? Like heal our own bodies by the power of our thoughts. Mother's intuition, the law of attraction. Can we really tap into our subconscious mind? Can we really create our own realities? It begs the question, are we novice gods? Hey, thank you for joining me for another episode of Are We Novice Gods? Do we have more control, more power, more ability, more potential than we ever imagined? What I wanna do with this series is challenge your current limiting beliefs about yourself, about who you are. I wanna challenge your identity. I wanna open it up to the possibilities of what if. And play with me here. Kind of think about what are the possibilities within you? What if you had no limits? What if you could be, what if you could be anything? What if you could be everything? So anyway, hopefully that it just kind of opens your mind. We're talking about beliefs and limiting things that, uh, that hold us back. Now, if you paid it, to, or if you caught the pilot episode of this, I talked a little bit about that belief about, um, you know, that, that we descended from apes and that we're just grown up Neanderthals. That belief doesn't really sit really well with me. It makes me kind of itchy. You know, it doesn't, it feels like, how much can I evolve? How much can I grow? I could get maybe two more steps. You know, maybe I got three in me because I'm really smart. I don't know. Where are you? I mean, I'm sure you could get five or six, but still you're held down by looking back at this belief that we, you know, we, we came from apes. I don't buy it. I think there is more potential within us. And I like to look forward and I like to think about, okay, how come we can do these amazing things? And because, you know, such as healing our body with the power of our own thoughts, if you think about the placebo effect or intuition, how we can know things before they even happen or how we're energetically connected to other people, how we can feel somebody's presence when they walk into the room. How is it that we can do that? I think there's more potential within us. Now in the pilot episode, I talked about how I don't like to look back, you know, to the ape idea, but I would recommend that you look back to the beginning of your life when you were just a small child. If you want to live a full, vibrant, zestful life, if you want to feel alive, just remember when you did, when you totally felt alive, when you were new, when you were fresh. And you may not remember this yourself, so you can look around at other little things that are like this and they're called children. Think about when you were a child, but you know, you, you run into these other little kids and uh, you can just observe them and watch what they are like. And um, anyway, think about all of the qualities that little kids have. They are fearless, they are forgiving, they have unconditional love, they are totally accepting of one another and other people. Uh, you know, they, uh, they are carefree. They're not held down by these limitations of what if somebody's, what is somebody gonna think about me? They are always learning. They're like sponges, just soaking in all of this knowledge and all of this experience. They give freely. They're not held down by all of these things. They always speak their truth. Kids are just amazing. If you think about what they're, you know, they have no limitations on them because they haven't accepted these beliefs that you can only do this or you can only be that. I work with a bunch of little kids uh, in my church and if I ask them, you know, they're like uh, between four and five, if I ask them, who's the strongest, you know, or who can help me lift this, you know, they all raise their hand because they're the strongest and they can do things and they can tie their shoes and they're learning to read and all, the, all of these amazing things. They just feel fantastic about themselves. Now, if I go up to a class that's maybe three steps up, you know, I'm talking to kids that are seven or eight and I said, who's the strongest? Everybody will point at Ken. Or, you know, if I will say, who wants to help me with this? You know, only one or two kids will raise their hand and the other ones will you know, start to shrink. There's something that happens to us as we grow older. We forget who we are. We forget about 
how fearless we were, how brave we were, how creative we were, how imaginative, how, you know, forgiving, how, you know, just all of these wonderful things that have, that you have when you're first born. They forget who they are. You have forgotten who you are. So if you want to live life fully, believe in yourself again. Believe in who you are, accept who you truly are, which is that you are a child of God. Therefore, you have creation abilities. You can be fearless. You can, you can make things happen. Anyway, I just want to open your mind. I want you to think about the possibilities. Just ask what if questions. What if I really am a child of God? What if I really am connected? Okay, well then that would mean that would mean that I have a spirit that is connected to God. And that spirit that I had when I was a little kid is the same spirit that is still within me now. And if I have that same spirit, then I still have that creativity. I still, still have that fearlessness. I still have that ability to learn. I still have that ability to give freely. I have that ability to forgive quickly. I have all of those abilities that I had when I was a little child that you have you know, again, translate this for you. You have all of those abilities right now. You had them when you were a kid. You still have them within you now. You have just forgotten who you are. So if you want to learn to live life fully, if you want to feel completely, totally alive, learn to be a child again. Learn to have the, the freedom of being a child. Learn to believe in yourself, to accept other people, to be carefree, to be forgiving, to be kind, to be brave, to be inventive. All of these things you had before and you have the opportunity to have them again. You just have to be willing to challenge yourself to do that. Anyway, I hope these ideas are helpful to you. Honestly, I am learning how to be myself again too. I, you know, I've had years of where I didn't believe in myself and I tried to fit in and I tried to be like everyone else and I conformed and you know went with the flow and I have found that I am still kind of the shell of who I could be and as I've been learning to get rid of limiting beliefs it's been very freeing but I feel like I still have so far to go I'm totally terrified to be in front of a camera like this it it's hard for me it's expensive for me to emotionally expensive to stand here and to share this stuff. But I got to tell you, I believe that we're on the right path. I believe that if we can get rid of those, those limiting beliefs on us that are holding us back, we can feel more alive again. We can feel zest. We can feel energy. We can feel enthusiasm. We can feel like we have no limits and we can truly enjoy every day. Are you looking to make the world a better place? Visit me at scottwilhite.com and sign up to become an Impact Insider. I'll keep you updated on the topics and ideas that may help you become your best, true, full self.